Okay, so for the final part of uh, task three, we're going to look at a continuing example. So firstly, just to explain what ripple voltage is, uh, when you rectify the uh, half wave waveform, you wouldn't necessarily get a perfect straight line DC coming out. You might get a slight bit of ripple in the voltage where the capacitor in the circuit starts to just discharge slightly. Now, in this example, so this is the peak to peak of the ripple voltage. So let's say uh, in my example that peak to peak is basically the difference between the top and the bottom of that ripple. So let's say in my example, so the uh, peak to peak ripple voltage is 0.2 volts. And I don't want it to be any more than that. So what I need to do is to calculate what capacitor value, uh, which is this capacitor in the previous circuit, what capacitor value would give me that kind of uh, ripple voltage. So here we've got the equation. So the voltage uh, for the peak to peak ripple will equal the current, which we've already uh, said was 500 milliamps divided by the frequency which from the example circuit was 100 hertz uh, times the capacitor so if we rearrange this formula for c so c will equal i over the frequency times the ripple peak to peak voltage so we know what all these numbers are. So 500 milliamps, 0.5 amps, frequency of 100, and the ripple voltage in this example, 0.2 volts. So if we put that in, find out what capacitor value we would need. So 0.5. So that's going to divide by a frequency of 100 hertz multiplied by 0.2 ripple voltage so let's calculate that 0.5 divided by 100 times 0.2 okay now, for a capacitor, that's a very large value. That's uh, 0 0.025 farads. Now, we normally uh, write our values for capacitors in microfarads. So, for that, micro is a millionth of a farad. So, if we were going to divide that by a million, let's turn it into microfarads. That would be two five microfarads. So, for in capacitor terms, that's a huge capacitor. But it's the example numbers that I chose, so I'll I'll stick with them. Okay, so that concludes everything for task three. Thank you.